Anyone who has met the gaze of this winged tiger knows the power behind its piercing stare. The great horned owl's most striking feature is its large, forward-facing yellow eyes. Most birds have their vision positioned on the sides of their heads, giving them a wide field of view. A huge advantage when spotting predators sneaking up from behind. They just have to be fast enough to get away. Owls, however, like many predators, have a different setup. Their eyes sit at the front, granting them excellent depth perception, crucial for judging distances and timing attacks precisely. Even more remarkable is the size of their visual organs. What we see from the outside is only the tip of the iceberg. Unlike our eyes that are round and short, an owl's are elongated stretching deep into the skull. The great horned owl takes this a step further, with eyes proportionally larger compared to its brain than almost any other owl species. In fact, 5% of its total body weight is packed into those oversized eyes. To put that in perspective, our eyes make up a measly 0.003% of our body weight. If humans had peepers comparably as large as the great horned owls, ours would be the size of grapefruits, which would make the challenge of finding the perfect pair of sunglasses a real problem. Thanks to their enormous eyes and retinas packed with light-sensitive rods, owls have exceptional night vision. But what sets great horned owls apart is their remarkable pupil control. Their pupils can expand widely to gather the faintest light or constrict quickly in bright conditions. They can even adjust each one independently, a rare ability. Dilating one pupil while constricting the other helps them adapt to mixed lighting. Like when one eye is in the shadow and the other in bright light. This ensures they maintain sharp vision in both conditions. Whether it's the dead of night, the dim light of twilight, the brightness of day, or the sharp contrast of moving from a shadowed forest into the glow of moonlight, these fierce hunters are always ready to strike. One problem, though. Their big, tube-like eyes are locked into place, unable to roll and move around as our eyes can. This is where a remarkable, albeit kind of unnerving, ability comes to play being able to turn their head almost completely around. No, not 360 degrees, as is sometimes mistakenly claimed, though it's understandable, since it really does look like owls turn their head all the way around. In truth, it's 270 degrees, a full three-quarters of a turn, and without cutting off blood flow thanks to unique skeletal and circulatory adaptations which is seriously impressive, especially when you realize we can only manage about 160 to 180 degrees ourselves. Since their eyes are fixed at the front of their head and can't move, turning their head like this is the only way to see what's happening around them. Being able to see is only part of the problem, though. Some prey hide under debris or snow. This is where the remarkable hearing ability comes into play. Before you ask, no, those aren't ears you're seeing on top of their head. Those are actually plumicorns, or tufts of feathers, not ears at all. Their purpose is to intimidate rivals, impress a mate, and for camouflage, helping to break up the outline of the owl's head. Their actual ears are cleverly tucked away beneath those thick layers of feathers. And here's where it gets interesting. Their ears aren't placed symmetrically like ours. The great horned owl has one ear, usually the right, placed higher on the skull than the left. This quirky, uneven arrangement gives them a serious superpower. The ability to detect exactly where a sound is coming from in a fraction of a second, both in direction and height. Because sound reaches each ear at a slightly different time and intensity, owls can pick up the tiniest differences and instantly pinpoint the location of their prey hidden under snow or debris, and even in almost complete darkness. 
And it doesn't stop there. Ever notice how owls have that distinctive flat face look? That's because their facial feathers are arranged into a specialized shape called a facial disc, which works like a satellite dish, capturing and funneling sound straight to their hidden ears. This clever design boosts a great horn owl's already incredible hearing, making them some of nature's most precise nighttime hunters. As if all these incredible abilities weren't enough, the great horn owl has another eerie trick up its feathery sleeves. It can fly in complete silence. Like all owls, this is thanks to specially adapted flight feathers, with serrated edges, a velvety surface, and a soft fringe that break up air turbulence and muffle the sound of their wings. This silent flight lets them glide through the night like ghostly shadows, closing in on unsuspecting prey without a whisper of warning. When you consider the large size of the great horned owl, its ability to move so silently makes it all the more extraordinary. Standing at about one and a half to two feet tall, with a wingspan around four feet and weighing around three to four pounds, the great horned owl is an impressive sight to behold. Where things really get impressive is in the sheer power packed into this big guy. To put it into perspective, let's bring in a familiar face. The bald eagle. Standing side by side, the great horned owl has a much more compact body. Bald eagles can weigh up to 14 pounds, 10 pounds or more heavier. With that kind of size difference, you'd naturally expect the eagle to be way more powerful. But here's the surprise. Despite being smaller, the great horned owl is close in strength. How do we know? It's all in the grip. Those big feathered feet can clamp down with a crushing force by about 300 pounds per square inch or more. Whereas the larger eagle is around 400 or 500. So pound for pound, the great horned owl is incredibly strong and can take down prey just as heavy. Some sources say that great horned owls can fly off with prey two to three times its own weight, which sounds unbelievable. Other sources say up to one and a half times their body weight, which is still an impressive feat and means that a four pound great horned owl is capable of lifting off with prey that weighs six pounds. Either way, the fact that they can lift animals heavier than themselves is remarkable and earns them the reputation as weightlifters of the raptor world. But how is this possible? The secret lies in their powerful wings and uniquely adapted big, strong toes. Most raptors have one toe facing backward and three facing forward, a configuration known as a nisodactyl. Owls, however, have the ability to rotate their outer toe forward or backward, allowing them to grip with two toes in front and two behind, a formation called zygodactyl. This flexible arrangement provides a secure grip while perched on branches, and helps them handle heavy or struggling prey more effectively. Though their powerful feet and razor-sharp talons enable them to capture large prey, they are not restricted to hunting only big targets. Great horned owls have some of the most varied diets in the owl world. From tiny voles and mice to larger tougher prey like skunks and raccoons. There's actually not much these fierce hunters won't at least attempt to catch. Which gives them a serious advantage. Being able to thrive wherever there is prey, without the need to migrate far from their home turf, if at all. Unlike other owls, the great horned owl is a true survivalist. Not only are they one of the most widespread owls in the Americas, but they are found making their home in a variety of habitats from wetlands and tropical forests to grasslands, deserts, tundra edges, mixed forests, parks, suburbs, and even bustling cities. In fact, these elusive birds might be closer than you think, sometimes nesting right in our own backyards, offering lucky onlookers a peek into their secretive world. So while the great horned owl shares many traits with other owls, what truly sets them apart is the perfect blend of strength, stealth, precision, and versatility, creating one of nature's most iconic predators. 
With everything considered, make no wonder they are called the Great Horned Owl. Some even call them the Tiger of the Sky, and honestly, it's a title they wear well. However majestic the Great Horned Owl is, though, don't miss out on the opportunity to check out the smaller guys, too. Like the charming Burrowing Owl. Known for their quirky behavior and unique adaptations, these little characters are a treat to watch. Catch their antics as you learn all about them in the video on the screen. Thanks for watching. Happy birding. Imitating the hiss sound rattlesnakes make with their tail. They can do it so well that spectrograph comparisons have revealed it is very similar in frequency and acoustic structure.